Welcome back guys to Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where we've begun Chapter 6, Wounds, after the defeat of Jin on top of the Titan weapon that has caused a possible war between two nations. With the battle lines drawn, we're hoping to do a little bit of politicking to be able to calm tensions and move on. But in the midst of it all, Fan Lenorn, Hayes, lies dead. My deepest thanks to you for agreeing to this ceasefire, Queen Rakura, Emperor Nile. As I recall from the Assyrian Treaty of 350 years ago, the Praetorium was to refrain from intervention in times of war. And yet here you are intervening. But I trust you have a suitable justification, Your Eminence. Naturally. But first, to ensure impartiality in these negotiations, may I present Nira Nira, acting chairman of the Argentum Trade Guild. Furthermore, representing the Tantalese, His Highness the Crown Prince Ozyclyrus Brunev Tantal will also be attending. The Crown Prince? The Prodigal Prince of Tantal? <laughs> His name's Nerdy Ollis. It's not far off. What a spectacle. Seems the Praetor has as much clout around here as ever. Could we not just take them out here and now? Good point. All the principal nation's heads gathered here It'd make things easy later. The way to the world tree must first be opened. Wiping out mankind is the easy part. We could manage that ourselves. Even so... That isn't our only goal, remember? We must wait for the stage to be set. Is Jin serious about this? Yeah. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> oh, he's serious. He always is. He will annihilate mankind, and then... He will kill the Architect. Now, it seems... More Ardain has been accused of a unilateral breach of treaty in this matter. Emperor Nile, I open the floor to you. Is there anything you wish to say? While we are still conducting investigations into the cause, it cannot be denied that weaponry belonging to our forces was discharged against Uriah. Regardless of any possible reason and circumstance, we are prepared to offer recompense for this grave offence. So you want to settle this with money? We will provide any compensation deemed necessary. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. To my ears, it sounds almost as if you mean to imply that the blame for these offences... ...does not lie with your majesty at all. We are investigating. I ask that we not draw any hasty conclusions. What need is there for investigation? I believe a cause has already been established. There are witnesses. And that would be? What a preposterous notion. The people you speak of are merely a terrorist group. How could they possibly command that measure of... It's the truth. I, Ozyclyrus, swear this in the name of King Eulogimenos Tantal. Can confirm, ex-chairman Banner, give these people some kind of supplies. Military supplies, methinks, and in great number, yes. But why would... What if I were to tell you that the Aegis Malus 
who raised the world five centuries ago, was involved. Ridiculous! Everyone knows he disappeared in a blaze of flame! He's very much alive, believe me. That arsehole, I mean, the Aegis, has confronted us in person. And if my word is not enough for you... A blade? But... but that core crystal... <gasps> this is another Aegis, named Mithra. Your Highness has heard of her, surely. So the rumors that reached us were true. Who is its driver? If you knew that, I dare say your surprise would be even greater. But that is not the matter we are here to discuss, Your Highness. This is a dire situation. This politics was always going to go easy. It's too easy to explain. Six o'clock already. Mithra's been in there for a long time now. We've just got to trust them. They're dealing with the leaders of whole nations. It's not like there's anything you or me can do to help. Ugh. I've noticed something about Malos. He's an Aegis, but you wouldn't know it from how he's fighting. I think... I'm pretty sure he's damaged in some way. You mean he can't use the full extent of his powers? The wounds I dealt in our battle long ago may not be completely healed. His end goal is Elysium. He wants to go back to the place he was born. There he can heal until his powers have recovered. If Malos is allowed to restore himself... The horrors of five centuries past will return. Or worse still, Malos's goal is simple. He means to destroy humanity in its entirety. Why would anyone desire that? Perhaps he doesn't even need a reason. It seems to be a deep-seated drive. An instinct. As natural as breathing. All of this is my responsibility. Praetor Amalthus? Whatever do you mean? It was none other than I who awakened Malos and unleashed him upon the world. So... Your Eminence, the rumor that you were once Malos's driver is... I never intended to obscure the truth. It is writ plain for all to see in history books. I was a fool. It was to prevent such foolishness that all passage to the World Tree was forbidden after the Aegis War. However, it has become apparent that the laws of men do not apply to Malos. <sighs> the time may have come to lift that restriction. I appreciate this. Don't think you've earned my trust. But since Rex is going to Elysium, their paths are bound to cross. That's all. I'm surprised. You seem so devoted to the boy. It's for both our sakes. But you, Amalthus, who is it that you're living for? <laughs> Morning folks, you're looking a bit better slept than yesterday. 
I was wondering if someone would get assassinated at this point in time, because let's face it, we got three members of Torna here in the city, and they can get in and out of places quite easily at this point. I was wondering if the Queen of Araya would probably get assassinated. It's either the Queen of Araya or the King of Moradain that would get assassinated at this point in time, considering the characters that are in there. Yeah. Let's hope that nothing goes down like that. The Praetor's not going to die, of course, because what happens to an Aegis if the Praetor dies, after all? That said... Mithra's bound to a different driver, so maybe their drivers can die. It'd be interesting to find out what happens next. Morning, folks. You're looking a bit better slept than yesterday, indeed. Pretty much. Hand state funerals to be held today, is it not? Yeah, I think it was meant to be happening in Sioris Plaza, right outside the Sanctum. You'll be going, right, chum? Yes, it would be wrong for me not to. Sioris Plaza, very not far away. Time to go, quick, quick. I just want to bossy sometimes. Right then, well, if that's who I've got with us... Zeke, I want you to be there, but... Uh, I'll have to be Tor. Poor Tor. I guess Morag's sticking with her brother for now. Which reminds me of one thing we can do at this point in time, or at least I remember during the cutscene. We have a blade to bond. Vess's core crystal became active, and I'm 100% sure she's going to be the healing variety considering personality and things we kind of learned about her in fact design wise it's just informing hopefully so with that said let's bind Vess to Nia and see what happens after that and pray that it is I mean, we've worked so hard to get the quest after all done. Hello there, I'm Vess. My power? It's like a warm, soft bed. Of electricity? I'm here to soothe your weary hearts and souls. With a ball of deaf electricity. Yeah, definitely a healer. A bit ball user. God, the, the character art here looks way different than the in-game character model. Well, we're we'll basically be switching out one lightning blade for another lightning blade then. Healing bolt, ball lightning, thunder strike and divine plasma. A specials there. The Rex Barrier that absorbs fixed damage as part of the blade art. Space tea time reduces recharge of enemies in battle by 10% when a max affinity. And increases affinity by 10 when a fellow driver misses an attack of sympathy. She's a dumpling pro. She can prepare tasty triangular dumplings, which is a skill exclusive to Vess. What am I gonna do with that? She has fortitude though. So another fortitude blade. Katsumasa, you've done so much for us, but it's time for you to go, I'm afraid. I will attend to your every need. At least for fighting. At least for fighting. Alright, we got tons of lightning blades, really, across the party. When you count Electra and you count Pandoria. So we should be able to revive that Nopon soonish once we get the level up. Uh, Vess. How's your affinity chart looking? We just need to build up chests, so... Chests. <laughs> you made me Freudian slip there, chat. I'm not even kidding. Because I saw the comment, those are not dumplings. And instant, and the comment too above that, which is reasonable boob size. <laughs> and instead of trust, I said build up chest. Because I... <laughs> well done! You successfully infected my brain with Freudian slippery. Build up trust to get her out further. And it seems she can really become a dumpling pro. Make dumplings in Tori, Goth, and Gormot. Previous instances count toward totals. What? When have I made dumplings anywhere? Is this a cooking skill? I'm confused. Well, whatever. Whatever. Ox course slots, how many do you have? 
I don't know what to give you at this point. I can give physical defense, which is not too bad. I've got an element orb prioritizer, not bad. Targets damage element orbs when not using opposing element in a chain is kind of a good thing. So that's why I've got it on some guys at the moment. Aggro boost is something we don't want. Uh, reduces spike damage taken. Hmm. Uh, let's see what else here. Humanoid Hunter. Evasion Focus. The ones down here aren't that great. So I want the stuff at the top. Let's just go for physical defense. Boost that a little bit more. Oh, wait a second. Boosting 0% physical defense by 10% is 0% still. <laughs> yes. That's a thing. Have that then. Boost that. Alright, apart from that, what blade stuff do I want on you? Cobalt chips. A tri chip, maybe. Yeah, let's go with that tri chip by the look of it. So now we got a bit ball. We got two bit balls on her now? All considering? Come on, followers, we would never do anything like that. Do anything like what? I wasn't accusing you of anything. What? Oh, one also thing I did is I did go through people and enhance their arts in time as well. So, like Twin Rings, for example, I've leveled up some of the abilities there. And just really had an in-depth look at some things. But now we've got the bit ball. Yeah, we haven't really got any abilities for it, have we? So, with that said... So you have healing circle for the bit ball, do you? I guess strengthening that's probably not going to be a bad idea. You're the chest dollars. I mean the best. Yeah. Freudian slippery. Freudian slippery. <laughs> ah, my life. My life. Oh, well, let's move on. Bravest of the brave, back in the house. Well, it seems Godfrey's Legs happy now. Done. Let's go to a funeral after checking our Merc group it's stuff. It's proof that justice has been served. Godfrey is an ally, you know. You can count on me. He's got quite a complete chart, hasn't he? So to build him up, we just got to increase trust normally, so that's not too bad. Oh, I just did complete that. Oh, do I have to complete it again after he's leveled up a bit? Oh, that's a bit of a poo. The truth is, I actually dis. Go away, Adney. We only have this I didn't want to overdrive you. That's my specialty. Maybe that will be retroactive. I don't know. Well, we've got a new Merc mission in Gormot. Probably for Godfrey to continue his stuff. But he needs to gain affinity first. Which means he'll just have to... Oh, wait for now. I guess they did call her a goddess. The state funeral makes sense. Shouldn't you be with him? He's a boy. Best not to bother them at times like this. <laughs> I expected you'd be more clingy. You really are different from him. Actually, letting him be was more her idea than mine. Really? Pirates? Get out. So wait. You're saying you want to go be clingy, or what? I'll burn you. I can't, I can't. Sheesh. It's not the time. It's weird, though. What is? I mean, don't you think it's odd? Normally, if a blade or its driver dies, it'll just go back to being a core crystal. So why is Fan just dead? I did wonder the same thing. 
There's only one way I know for a dead blade to keep its physical form. Remember Minna? I mean, Cole. He was a flesh eater. Yeah. But Fan wasn't a flesh eater. I can say that for sure. What's that? That's the shape of Fan's core crystal. Well, how it used to be. But now it's a triangle. Rex and I are quite a unique case, but this is different still. How is it different? If a blade shares its core with another, its shape changes in a uniform fashion. In our case, the center part went to Rex and the outer part to us. I don't know why that is, but it seems to be a rule. But Fans isn't like that. Exactly. It looks more like someone stole her core, doesn't it? Oh. I would like more explanation than just that! <laughs> Please tell me more, I am intrigued! Don't leave me in suspense like good TV shows do, like Fargo does. Don't do that to me! I keep watching that way! I keep watching until it's past midnight! That was quite the grand funeral ceremony! I spoke volumes as to just how much Fan was loved by her people. The goddess of Indol won't be in an easy position to replace. You could use it with that Melika. She's a goddess. She only she wants to get assassinated too, you know. So, you know, same roles, I guess. Not the time? Oh, sorry. Hey, Rex. What are you going to do from here on out? If we're going to reach the world tree, we'll need the prayer to help, but... Master Rex, there you are! Prayer to Amalfus wishes to speak with you. He is waiting in the audience chamber. That's perfect timing, then. Maybe he wants to talk about the world tree. I'm afraid I cannot say. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get ourselves on over to that audience chamber, then. It just seems like cores can be dug off people's chests, yeah. It's a bit crazy. Is that what Jin did and we didn't see it? Maybe Jin absorbed it through his sword! I don't know! Is something wrong? I need to catch my breath after experiencing such a historical moment. A sword of prayer should do the trick. Really, I suppose I ought to go home to Argentum before I get mixed up in any of this, but I think I'll stick around. I need plan to come here on a lazy tourist spree, but my merchant blood is telling me I have to see this through. Is it now? Merchant blood. Sure. Well, let's go speak to the Praetor again. I mean, you know I want to go do some other stuff like I got, but still. Hello, friend! For some reason, I can't forget the sight of Lady Fan's face as she gazed upon the tales of Alra's creation. She looks so strangely melancholy. I can't imagine what's be going through her mind. One thing I'm wondering, by the way, is if the characters that aren't in the party also benefit from SideQuest uh, trust. We'll find that with some experiments. Because it'll be very easy, because the first side quest we do will actually level up Pandora's Trust, most likely. Now, leave the prayer to wait for a few hours. We can't keep doing it, though. He might actually drop dead. Now, now, don't let me the build up the chest thing be a thing. This is not a mim. This is not a meme. Well, let's find out what the Praetor wants from Rex this time. Aegis Driver to Aegis Driver. Aegis even. Did I keep you waiting? No, not really. What were you doing? I was cleansing the core crystals. It markedly increases their resonance success rate. Bonding with the crystal carries certain risks, you understand. I know. When I became the driver of an Aegis, this power was awakened in me. So I might be able to do it too? Who knows? 
Different people are cut out for different things. Right, yeah. Now then. My work is done for the day. Come with me. A special envoy? To Tantal? Me? Correct. Behold. As a salvager, I imagine you are already aware. But this is Allrest, the world we currently inhabit. We make our home on Titans, moving in circles around the world tree. And here lies the Great Void. This void came into being 500 years ago. It did not exist prior to that. So I've heard. It's in our way anyway. It stopped us reaching the world tree. The Great Void is carved from the Cloud Sea by a monstrous beast known as Ophion. Wait, you mean that thing? To be precise, it is an artifice, a servant of the Aegis. Of Mithra? So if that thing is Mithra's, then what did it attack us for? Doesn't make sense. Ophion was felled in the ancient battle with Malos, sinking below the clouds. This means someone must have revived it. Correct. And you're saying that someone was Zeke's home country, Tantal? Yes. They gave Ophion one directive. To ensure that none approach the World Tree. They sought to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the Aegis War. So, an obstacle was created. The Great Void. How did they manage a feat like that? As I've said, mankind is regressing. Only one artifact remains that can rescind Ophion's orders, and it lies in Tantal. It's called the Omega Feta, and it's guarded by the royal family. I'll take you to it. I've prepared your envoy documents already. Your quest is to set foot in Elysium, correct? Malos and his ilk will surely seek the Omega Feta for themselves. I would ask you to reach Elysium before they do, and inform me of what you find there. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man, and so that people may have a future in this dying world. Yes, Feta is an actual world in real life to the chat. Don't ask me the definition, though, however. So, Zeke, you're going to be guiding us to Tantal, right? And he's quite easy with, like, going, yeah, we have this thing that stops you all. Okay. Sure am. Well, let's head back to our chambers before we talk about it. This isn't exactly the place for discussing stuff. Back to our room? Got it. We've got an automatic door in here. Well, the Praetor's study doesn't have anything secret hiding behind the chest. The chest. See, I'm just hoping for a chest now. Different kind of chest this time, though. Right. Not feta cheese, though. Not omega cheese. Well, we can speak to Hector and Praetor and Malthus before we continue onwards, but the real thing was this purifying thing. It definitely looks like he's absorbing something. Is that why he's still alive at this point in time? Say he could be absorbing the impurities, maybe. I don't know, maybe he's always said it that way. But this is how he sustains himself somehow. Maybe this is even how he heals Blumin Malos, with Malos controlling him. I don't know. You're bound for Tantal, I believe. I trust you will fulfill your duty as the player's envoy. Remember, his eminence has placed all his hope in you. Might be why they're gathering more core crystals, to be honest, as well. And Sly, apart from the, the emancipation of core crystals. 
To reach Elysium, we must first stop Ophion, the beast that carved the Great Void. And Ophion's directive was issued from Tantal, Zeke's homeland. I prepared envoy documents for you so that you may enter as representatives of Indol. I entreat you to reach Elysium before Malos. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man. A favor. Surely you should be acting a bit more in these regards. I've got to say, if you are the driver of <laughs> an Aegis, you should somewhat be responsible for its actions. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Fetter, a chain or shackle placed on the feet. There we go. It's one of those words that I know where it's placed in a sentence, but I wouldn't be able to tell you the exact definition, even though I get the mood or feeling of. Then I'd be able to pronounce it completely wrong as well. Well, let's head back to our chambers and discuss with Zeke what's going on. I wonder what level of core crystals they were as well, when you think about it. Where's Morag got to in the meantime? Gone completely home, has she? Guess she does have to protect her little brother and all. We've well, prepared your rooms. I presume we want to take your leave soon. Please make sure you're well rested before you sit out once more. Let's rest, indeed. We can reach Tantal by ship, but once we're there, we'll need to do a spot of walking. So we're travelling with Shell, lad, yeah? Never thought I'd see the day. I think you'll find I make a fantastic ally. Mm, luck of Zeke, not so great. Bet we shipwrecked by tomorrow. <laughs> Cheeky furball. We're all gonna die. Hey, Zeke. You said before that Torna concerned you too. What did you mean by that? What? Oh, yeah, that. I don't know about those clowns, but Torna, the country that fell 500 years ago, they were the ancestors of us Tantalese. The people of Tantal are descended from Adam, the hero of Torna, who escaped its destruction. So, after Pyra fell asleep, Adam escaped to Tantal? That's right. That is the first I've heard of it. I have studied much history, but this story never featured. Most peculiar. We're humble. Don't really like to brag about it. The only real trace left is in this here sigil of the royal family. It's a letter opener. So why did you awaken Hayes? Because her power was of great use to me. Indol has found itself under attack from Torna a number of times. She was necessary in driving them back. Really? Then why don't you seem to have any others? Blades, that is. <laughs> Driver though I may be, I am no fighter. Besides, I find the warrior monks here so reliable. They get the job done. <laughs> if you say so. I wonder, do you know why Torna are using the name of a dead country? Jin was a blade of Torna once. Loyalty and nostalgia. Who can say? Perhaps both. Is that really all there is to it? You don't think so? I don't know much about what happened while I slept. There are no written records, either. All we have is stories passed down. And you think that is insufficient? History is a murky thing. Only those present can truly know what took place. But weren't you one of those present? And that is why I offer you my cooperation. I guess we'll find out if we go to Tanto. Sure. Well, hopefully I don't just get sucked along. Right, let's head for Goethe's port. Goethe's? Goethe's port. Can we make it a leisurely walk? I guess. Why? It's been young since I last went home to Tantal. I've been thinking of Indol as my home so long now. It feels weird to leave. I want to enjoy my last moments here. You can be shockingly sentimental sometimes. I know. Shocking, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> lightning jokes. Shut up, you two. 
<laughs> Gotta take some indolent presents for the folks you haven't seen in a while. Ha! As if my old man would want any of that. Come on, let's start walking to Goetius Port. You can grab a swig of a defern on the way. They don't have that stuff in Tantel, so this could be your last chance. I said shut up already! Mean Zeke. That's his name. It's Mean Zeke. Oh, time to wonder where side quests are, if you know what I mean. I think it's about that time. Yet again. To explore the lands and realize the fact that uh, not only is Lefaria basically unexplored, but so is uh, Tarantula Place. <laughs> well, I can't remember the name of apart from thinking it's Tarantula Place. It's Tarantula Place, you know. Right, a bandit group has been targeting folk transporting core crystal to Torigov, and we got the greedy monsters thing in here in the Chansar Wastes. One's in Torigov, one's there. We should probably, like, look for them as well, as we go. But it seems there's actually a main quest location halfway on the way. Now, we know that Torna members are here. Could we find ourselves attacked in the middle of Indol? This is a question. The eyeball of justice is throbbing in time in my heart. That it is. Sure, it's a good thing my blade's so powerful. Something wrong. The other day, my blade found a poor sod who'd fallen onto Indol's back. Said she was from the refugee camp. Said she didn't want any help from Blade. Got quite angry. But we couldn't just leave her like that, so we had to manhandle her out of there. You mean strong in that sense? That's called kidnapping. I was just remembering how kindly Lady Fan used to treat all the refugees. I can't understand how anyone could bring themselves to take the life of such a kind and noble soul. It feels as though the indole I know and love is gradually slipping away. It scares me a little. I imagine it does at times. But here we go again. Hmm. Tensions seem high. From what I gather, it seems an official summit is to be held between Morardane and Uriah. A summit? You mean about the recent pension? But I thought... Didn't Praetor Amalthus get them to stop and sort it all out? Perhaps there are some discussions they would prefer Indol not to be privy to. Besides, Uriah doesn't like to associate too closely with Indol. They'd hate to be seen as acquiescing to the Praetor's will. Got to keep up appearances, you know. Acquiescing? You what? Like letting him tell them what's what. <laughs> For such a span, are you sure you some big words? How can? Stop calling me that! Buzz off, kitty no-mates! Anyway. This summit would explain why Morag isn't around. Indeed. She has much to attend to. Shared sovereignty over Gormot. Yes. I don't think anything less would be sufficient to placate them. The Senate would never approve it. I can overrule them by decree. Of course... I would need to secure Senator Roderick's cooperation. Imperial decree? If it's come to that, well, then I cannot dissent. I cannot help but admire your courage, Your Majesty. That means a lot, coming from you. Acting Chairman Nira Nira. Sorry for intrude. Is emergency, so Nira Nira take liberty of drop by unannounced. You certainly look troubled, Chairman. So, what is this emergency you speak of? Well... God, he has a sexy voice. <laughs> For no pun. Well. Well. Sexy voice, no pun. That's what I am. Right! Moving on from there, I'm just gonna buy out the Odifa. Because, you know, I bet he loves Odifa. Our Zeke Zeke friend. We even buy him the frozen one to keep on the road, you know. I'm sure it'll stay frozen for long. What? What? 
this is all I could do. For <laughs> do for now. You know, you don't have to donate, though I'm very grateful for it. <laughs> there is no one holding you with a gun to the back of your head ready to go, Patow, but thank you very much. <laughs> it's the way you put that sentence then. It's like, what? What? I'm not trying to force you. Make it sound like I've got you to a gun barrel. Well, thank you again. Let's just buy loads of food because it does weirdly up the development level. Seems the, the person was thankful about it. Thank you very much. You're totally saving the good years, right? Well, you shouldn't miss out on our prize meat dishes. Alright, let's buy even more strakes. Mixed meat platters. Herbal tartar kasha. Because you know we're going to have to feed this Boreas guy a ton in times. I want to give gifts to subs, but Twitch is unable to process cards this time, so instead you gave it directly to me. Well, thank you. You crazy man. So, we can make our way to Tantal from here. I assume the Praetor has a ship waiting for us. He shall, Ed. What? Are we really gonna just leave Morag behind? Who's leaving anyone? She's got her own priorities, you know? Yeah, but still. Anyway, her schedule is filled with official duties right now. For sure. It's just a bit of a shame is all. You know, since we came all this way together. I guess I know how you feel, chum. Huh? Speak of the devil? Banners going for the summit. On top of everything, an assassination attempt. If blood gets spilled at the summit, it'll mean war. War's good for business, after all. I guess he wants to use that to get himself back in with the guild. Why that little? I was wondering where he'd slunk off to. What a sneaky git. It seems acting chairman Nira Nira wishes to take care of this incident covertly, to avoid it reflecting badly upon the guild. So you came to us? If we mobilize the army, the whole thing will become public. Oh, I get it. So we're a more convenient solution. I'm not forcing you. If you refuse, Bridget and I will do what we can alone. Ah, oh, come off it, lady. You wouldn't even think of dragging us into this, if you thought you could handle it on your own. I suppose not. You know Banna as well as I. There's no telling what he might be plotting. According to Acting Chairman Nira Nira, several giant weapons were being built at the factory where we last saw him. And one of them is currently unaccounted for. Giant weapons? Got it. Besides, you know, we've got our own score to settle with him. Thank you. It will be easier to focus on my duties knowing you are on the case. Good luck. Leave it to us. Alright, Banner the Schemer is now our main quest. I did say something about assassinations, didn't I? It seems like the right time for an assassination. But I was expecting from Torna, not from Barna. Right, now we've got mo- What the hell? We've got multiple main quests all around us? Is Morag still out the party at this point as well? Indeed she is. So that's a shame. Right, Sniffy Sniffy here, however, has got something going on. A turn in, is this? So bothering friend. Sniff sniff <laughs> Friend have smell of strong fighters It's friend very strong I thought it was sniff sniff cry cry but no this person just likes sniffing people Sorry sniff as if you should not sniff sniff friends before you even say hello Yes you probably shouldn't that's not a normal thing to do 
Sniffy said we have very good nose. Never make any mistake with smell before. Nose of Sniffy Sniffy say Sniff oh no, Sniffiffy. Not Sniffy Sniffy. Sniffiffy <laughs> should open new shop in Teplantia. Amazing. Nobody have shop there yet, so Sniffiffy not know of good travel route. Sniffiffy think nose alone probably not enough to keep fellow merchants safe. So we're sniffing around to find strong person uses bodyguard. Sniffiffy sniff sniff a hundred people and you spell strongest out of all hundred. Please, friend, help Sniffiffy set up shop in Teperantia. I'll do what I can. How? Yay, thank friend much! Sniffiffy will wait on Overlook Hill in Teperantia then. Come quick! Got it. Sniffy Sniffy. I will say, I do like all the British insults we've been getting. Or insults, words. Uh, what I mean by that is stuff like... I think I should actually continue on the main quest, believe it or not, and that's really annoying. What I mean by that is things like git and spanner. Calling someone a spanner. Like Chairman Banner's a spanner. Good times. Oh no, what do I do now? I kind of want more egg before I side quests. I think there's definitely one I could do though. And that is to start off a, ga a Gats one, because it's only on side quest completion do we get the real rewards. Whew. Let's rest a spell. Let's get going. And it'd be nice to level a gut up, which requires us to stay in an inn. In a liar. So why not? Why well, hello there, you're always welcome. I'm gonna go. Yeah, we have to have a short rest. This is probably going to mean that I can level up like a billion times more. Oh no, I can only level up once. Do you know what? I'm not going to level up just yet. I'm going to keep getting that bonus experience. No, why is Ollie so easy to distract? Because I can't progress my blades from other things I'm doing. And I need to progress the blades a little bit here Good and morning. there. Oh, don't tell me I have to have you... I have to, like a baby. I have to have the quest set to get it working. I got... Maybe I can't do it now. Does it say sleep at an inn on a ride, isn't it? Maybe I can't even do it now. What does spanner mean? Just as it sounds, really. You what, mate, is not an insult. <laughs> That's the genuine asking of you what. Like, what are you saying? In an incredulous way. It's not an insult. Spanner, tool, exactly. It's just how it sounds. I know you're on here, Agat. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, it's actually locked again now. It's locked. So I can't do it at this point in the story. Maybe because I can't long rest. Has it been locked because of that? That's interesting. Well, I got locked out of the side quest as soon as I went to try and do it. So that's a thing. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Onwards. To mail. Such a commotion you'd be given to the sub by Noble. Welcome to the clue. Right, from there, I think then, let's go to Argentum again. I'm so surprised by that. I can go to the warehouse now? Oh, that's nice. The thing is, I walked past there once before while we were doing, while I was oh, doing the so other okay. stuff, by the way. And 100% there was a thing there. So I could have done it at that point in time. Okay, I don't have any of the vegetable stuff for that, so I can't progress that anymore. So I know that that quest marker was there. Which is why I wanted to go do it, but it's obviously been weirdly moved. So that's fun. Now we haven't done this one yet. And we can't do it unless we've got Electra actually on. Let's just do a little bit of blade management. If I can even press the right buttons. Get 
Get in there, Electra. So I need blades of electricity aplenty. Looking forward to it. It's the only one I have for you. Uh, ooh, do I have enough here? Let's prove our new powers. Maybe I don't have enough without maybe Morag. We'll see. My turn. Yeah, let me. Here we go. I know what we're missing. The other one I had on was Katsumasa. But then I'm still missing one. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. So I can switch out Dromark, I'll be fine. But I still don't have enough at the moment. I need Morag. Or to level up Pandora a bit more. So I can't even do that. And if I can't do that, then I can't save the dead... Dying nope on still, which just makes me feel like a bad person, fun. you know? I feel like a bad person. Oh, I'm up. Sure, you can go on them, Godfrey. It'll be fine. Yep, just leave it to Boreas. I'll just be the horrible, neglectful person, you know? Don't let me get rusty. Well, all the same. I don't care. Let's move on to da, 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 da. main quest by looking at it then. It's going to lock me out of things. Friendly. Friendly as it is. Friendly, friendly game. Phew. That was a slog. It won't let me do the I proper stuff. It won't let me do what I want to do. Sell me some more cakes. So it'll be big summit tour thing, yes? Friend know anything about suspicious things happening there? Well, um, I saw these weird bird people. Not like Nopon, a bit bigger than that. And really, um, birdy looking. I think I saw pictures of them before in a picture book, but I can't remember what they're called. Turkin, maybe? That's it, they're called Turkin! Thanks, but that was really bugging me. What would a bunch of Turkin be doing in a place like this? Thanks. Well, what's a Turkin like to you doing in a place like this? Hello. Underived. How are you? Oh. Hey, you heard about anything suspicious going down the Elia or Danian summit? Oh, I have a good one for you. Now this I have to hear. Some kind of ingredients with monstrously foul odour were carried onto the Ardanian Titan vessel. The stage was so strong I could still smell it on my clothes. There were other ingredients too, weird and wonderful, a lot of them. I don't know what they're for, but I can be your average recipes. Thanks. Explosives of some variety. Most likely. Foul smelling stuff can be made into explosives. Hey, you heard anything about anything suspicious going down the Ale Ardanian summit? I do wonder. Myself, I am Ardanian, yet I live under the protection of Indol. And the Alliance and the Gormati here, for instance, seem to get along just as well. But just take a look at those lot. Clutching their tools of conflict and fixing one another with the coldest of stairs. They can't even have a civil discussion short of holding a banquet like this. Do you think it's absurd? If they have the time to be wasting on such extravagances, they should use it to save their own suffering people. It does frustrate me. Sometimes I think the people running those nations could learn a thing or two from our camp. Keep talking to more. Getting the information that we can. Onwards. Noble has now gifted a sub to Askela. You're a male person too. The best way to bring someone around is to shock him. Yeah, probably not in the uh, electricity that she can put out. Have you heard about anything untoward going on the Arai Ardanian summit? Perhaps there are untoward intentions on the more Ardane side. Frankly, I would expect it. And I can assure you that we of Araya have no intentions of trying anything funny. The word of Queen Raklara, Raklura, Rakula, is absolute. We trust in our queen, and as she wills it, we gladly put our weapons aside. So there's no need for concern. Holding weapon. That makes sense. Of course, if the queen ordered me to take up arms, I would gladly fight tooth and nail against those Ardanian dogs. What was that noise? You would do well not to forget that. Thanks. Is one of you doing something? Is it Poppy? I bet it's Poppy. What oh, a premium cylinder. A real rarity produces only the very best results. So that's what that is. There's something I need to report. Nicely done. <laughs> it's that you love me. 
I knew it all along. All according to plan. Nice. All right, another merit quest done. Go get those rewards. Luckily, the merit points still count after the fact I as well. Like you can leave this part to me. What did she just level up in? Botany. So that was a fair level up. In the end, it all. You nearly complete the grid here well soon this. enough. All right, a new mission has been added to Argentum, but I guess it's the level two Allies of Justice quest. I imagine these can be completed retroactively, considering the fact that uh, number one is now off the list entirely. I guess I'll continue to leave that for the time being. I don't really need to do any merc quests for a little bit. Alright, so there's one all the way down there, and then there's all of the guys up there. Do I leave that guy as the last one? Maybe. Quick time events, all this is worst nightmare. I'm not that bad at them, god. Soon will be Big Summit talk thing, yes? Friend know anything about suspicious things happening there? There was one request I thought was decidedly suspicious. I had no pun fellow asking about supplies of poison substances. I told him we do not handle such items here, of course, and he left soon after. From what I hear, he's been asking around other places too. Who knows what he might be plotting? Thanks. Any chance the rations could be increased? Well, I don't know. Let's continue to head up here. I just wish uh, QTEs weren't a thing because they're very reactive and uh, breaking out of cutscenes and they're, they're a scourge and plague to cutscenes as Alan Altus made it up as well. Hey, you heard any about anything suspicious going down the LA Ardanian summit? There's certainly something not quite right going on. I saw a very large wooden box being transported onto the Titan battleship. It was accounted for on the inventory list, so most of my colleagues think it's no problem. But I honestly can't imagine what they would want such a huge box for. I'm worried about what might be inside. Thanks. And I go. I was wondering if it was going to pop anytime soon. Hey, you heard about anything suspicious going down the Aleo Adanian summit? The same line. Got the same leading line for everyone. Adanian Titan battleship has extremely steady defenses. I doubt there's a single weapon in this whole port that could damage it. Besides, I hear the main conference will only be attended by a very select group of trustworthy individuals. I can't imagine how any miscreants could hope to get close to the VIPs to harm them, even if they wanted to. A lot of people are on edge, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. Bombs are good for that. Watch out for those aspiring terrorists. You hear about anything untoward going on the Ardanian summit? Nothing untoward is going on the Ardanian army, I assure you. Those who have come to Indol belong to the Kalaeg Imperial Guard. And each soldier has sworn solemn oaths to protect the Emperor. So if anything suspicious were going on, I'd venture it would have to be on the Orion side. I find it difficult to tell what those people are thinking sometimes. Yes, it's hard to tell that what people are thinking when they're always wrapped up in a tin can. This is an actual Indol resident based on skin colour here. Which is probably not something I should be basing something on. Hey, you know about anything suspicious going down the Olay Ardanian summit? No, I don't know. In the current climate, I fear almost anything could happen. I can scarcely wait for the day when that huge, awful Titan battleship is gone from our shores. It pains me to even see such an unsightly structure in our beautiful city. I'm sure all upstanding Indolim citizens resent its presence. Why can more Ardane and Araya not cease all this foolish conflict and simply submit themselves to the will of Indol? Well, that's just, yeah. You wish. Wee. Let's just fall down here for no reason. Every day the same old thing. I bet it is. Oh, I need to speak to no ponds now, don't I? Hi there. Merlo spread teachings of Plato with Master Sephrian throughout all of all the rest. Words of blessings that fear any soul from weight of sins. Merlo already experienced herself, so should be able to express to others now too. I do need to speak to as many nobles as I can. Vaborius. The deadly poison is kept next to the sugar in the top cabinet, yes. Put it in your tea. It'll be nice. Huh. Seraphan. Huh. Sephiran. Let's talk to this last guy off the line. You can't jump from any of these places then for salvage. Welcome to Indo, hi. He's got to stay vigilant, you know. 
There's another no problem to speak to down here as well. Of Kalimd. Hey, near and near. Near and near, I think high probability banner lying low somewhere in Indol. Near and near, just pray we're able to blow this kiss wide open before Queen Rakura arrive. Tori, get it? Near and near, counting on you. Okay, Tori, get it. Tori, get it. That's a that noise again. Hey, you heard about anything suspicious going down the LA Ardanian summit? Is it when someone falls off and then gets respawned back? Is that what the noise is? Or is it just puppy dancing? I don't know. Problems at the summit? A ridiculous notion! The summit will be held aboard this Titan battleship, so we have no need to fear attacks from the outside. This door is the only entrance, and it will not be open until just before the summit to admit Queen Rakura. We have not allowed a single suspicious individual to pass this point. As such, there is no need to fear attack from within either. Thanks. You let something get through, though. Probably explosives. Smelly, smelly explosives. So if we need room from an empire because the titan is dying, why don't we just flip the titan over and build there? What? What? I, I don't get you. My brain. I've destroyed it. It looks like I've got to sleep at the inn. Oh well. We got an information. Time to just go to sleep and just let whatever's going to happen happen, you know? We got quite a bit of information now. Yeah, plenty of it's blatantly bogus. But there were some rumors in there that did bug me a bit. Yeah, the uh, the, the transported smelly goods. Time to sort out the real dirt from the base of suspicion. Ooh, detective time. First we clear up basic premise. Who is targeting Summon of Nations? His former chairman, Banner. Master Pond, forget already. No, no, Tor not that stupid. Yeah, all is not that stupid. Chat. It's traditional for deducing to start by listing information everybody know. Proper flow is for Rex Rex to think carefully and provide answer. Okay, okay. I've got a multiple choice question answer thing now. On to the next basic premise then. Where's the summit to be held? Um, It's definitely in the Sanctum of Indol. It's inside the Titan battleship from Moradain. Oh god, sneeze more. Yes, that's right. It's a quiz. It seems that Banner is planning an assassination, but what method do you think he might be using? I... Personally, I think it's sinking the whole battleship. I mean, it's either poison or sinking the whole battleship with the smelly stuff that was transported inwards. However, poison is a bit slow acting. I thought you'd take out both the leaderships. So it's got to be sink the whole battleship because these smelly things, like, these stuff they can exude can be used as an explosive. Well, no room with the